Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be comparing Arnold Schwarzenegger's 1974 version and his 1975 version. When I went to go check on the poll that I made last night, it seemed that this video idea kind of won very narrowly, so if you guys can get this video to a certain amount of likes, maybe let's say 100, I'll consider making all of the video ideas in the near future. This is going to be a very interesting comparison because in 1974, Arnold was weighing around 240 pounds. I think around, you know, somewhere upwards of 240 pounds. And in 1975, he had to downsize due to a, you know, movie role. So this is going to be very interesting, like I said, because we get to see which version was really his best. I know many of you guys may be saying, you know, why don't I compare the 1971 Arnold against the 1974 Arnold because those are considered his two best versions. And to that, I will tell you that A, you know, 1975 has the better picture quality. I'll be real with you guys. And, you know, B, Arnold in 1975, many people know him as having an amazing physique from Pumping Iron. You know, many people are very familiar with his physique from then and consider that to be one of his best. So I just wanted to show a kind of more relatable version of Arnold from 1975 from the Pumping Iron docudrama up against one of his best versions, which is 1974. One last thing before the video starts, I just want to ask if you guys could take a moment to like and subscribe. As always, I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers very soon, and you know, my channel has been growing extremely fast, so I also want to thank you guys who have been supporting me, and you know, for all the help and everything to get me to where I am, so thank you, and without any more rambling, let's get into this video comparison. In the front double bicep shot, the first pose of this comparison, Arnold in 1974, who is on the left here, looks insane in the leg department. I mean, the cuts, the separation is clearly there, and his quads are so much larger than 1975. I mean, you know, 1975 has rather good quads too in terms of separation, if not better separation than 1974. But the mass in 1974 was just on another level. You know, Arnold has the sweep there, very large quads. You know, he was never a Tom Platts in the leg department, but in 1974, he was the closest to being a Tom Platts. I mean, take a look once again. Moving on to the upper body, it seems that the 1974 version also has an advantage in the upper body in terms of density. Now, taking a look at the arms themselves, they look very similar. You know, the arms were always a very dominant body part for Arnold, and in both years, they feature very good and solid development and overall very similar condition. The midsections look very similar, but in 1975, he is hitting the pose a little bit differently, you know, kind of tilted away from the camera. So it is very hard to identify identify the differences through the midsection. 1974 doesn't look bad though, and the lats look very comparable. I would definitely say though that Arnold's arms in 1974 appear to be a little more dense, and you know that can be said for the whole body as a whole. Unfortunately, there were no on-stage front lat spread pictures of Arnold from 1974, so this photo shoot picture will have to suffice, so I'm sorry about that, and obviously 1975 is on stage, and he looks rather good as well. Taking a closer look at 1975, it is very clear that his legs have the separation and the cuts, but are much smaller than 1974 once again. 74 just is dwarfing him in that aspect, and that will kind of, you know, be a common theme throughout this video. And in the upper body, it is kind of the same story. I would say that 74 is filling out the pose in the lats a lot better. The chest appears to be a lot more dense and full. I mean, this conditioning is on point for 75, don't get me wrong, but, you know, 74 just has the denser arms the better chest and the better legs and of course the better lats so i think arnold in 1974 would be winning this front lat spread so going to the side chest pose take a look at 1974 guys i mean that is a flattering angle if i ever have seen one before the chest on arnold in 74 was just insanely dense and thick i mean you could clearly see that in the front lat spread and here it kind of translates the arm is so much thicker and denser and the legs guys look at the hamstring and the quad from the side I mean, crazy thick and dense compared to 75. The calf in 74 looks very similar. However, this is a you know rather unfair picture as it is taken from a you know rather flattering, if not too flattering, angle for 74. So let's take a look at another shot. Now, this is definitely a lot less flattering of an angle for 74, and it is clear that they are really similar in terms of the side profiles here. 
you know, the legs look very similar. The arms have very, you know, comparable conditioning, the brachialis, bicep, tricep area. Now, 74 is definitely showcasing more of that tricep area, whereas 75 is tilted a little bit, you know, further away. I would tell you that 74 has a better chest and better shoulders, and both years are in phenomenal conditioning. This is, you know, definitely a lot, you know, more of a comparison, uh, but I would still lean slightly towards 74. Also, you know, that that other picture of the side chest definitely leaves a little bit of bias in my mind just of how crazy he was. So yeah, 74 would definitely take this slightly. In the rear double bicep shot, I am very impressed with the conditioning of 1975. You can see the Christmas tree is dialed in. There's kind of like a grainy quality to his back itself, and his back looks amazing in its own right. His arms in 75 are amazing, and the legs look rather, you know, they're decent for Arnold, and the calves are fine. Now, 74, a lot more thickness and density and width through the back itself. I mean, the Christmas tree region is there. I would say that his conditioning is a little bit worse in the back department. Uh, but, you know, still the density, the thickness and things like that push him over the edge, in my opinion. Plus, his arms are really good as well, and his calves might be a little bit better. So even though 1975 definitely isn't getting smoked here, if anything, he might have a better back itself in terms of the conditioning than 74. But 74 just has ridiculous mass in the quad sweep, in the back itself things like that. So I'm going to give 74 the slight advantage because 1975 really isn't all too bad. So here we have the three quarters twisting double bicep shot, and this is going to have to make do for the mandatory poses as we don't have all of them in this comparison. Because these two pictures are taken at slightly different angles, it is hard to discern the real differences between the two physiques, but it is very easy to see the similarities between the two. Now, 1974, of course, has a lot more mass than 1975. However, it is very hard to see where that mass is. And I think that is because most of the mass was in his lats, in his chest, and in his quads from the front. So that's my explanation as to why they look so similar. Now, the only place you can really notice a difference is in the hamstring and quad department, as 1974 has definitely a slight advantage in terms of the size in the hamstring and the quad from the side. Now, I don't really think I can pick a winner here, as 1975 has the thin skin conditioning. You can't really see a single ounce of water or fat on the back. And, you know, 1974 has the, you know, the advantage in the legs and the mass overall. So, you know, you guys let me know down below who you think should be winning this shot. In the last pose, the most muscular, I will tell you that 74 takes this shot easily. You can clearly see where that 20 pounds of muscle went in that chest, in the arms, the shoulders, the quads, everywhere. So much denser, so much thicker and larger for 74. 75 has very similar conditioning, you know, the chest is striated perfectly, the shoulders are in condition, the cuts in the quads are there. However, you know, 1974 just has that all, but with more mass. So this is a very easy win, in my opinion, for 74. You know, maybe you guys can't necessarily see it, but, you know, if you just take a look at every individual muscle part, you will clearly see that there is just a little bit more mass everywhere for 1974. So that about does it for this comparison. I think overall 1974 had just more muscle, of course he did, and just, you know, very similar conditioning and brought just that larger, bigger package and just looks so much more majestic in my opinion. 1975 looked very aesthetic, but definitely was downsized and you could notice it in poses like the side chest, in the front double bicep, you could see it in his legs, things like that. So, you know, while 1975 was not bad by any means, and in my opinion, was one of his most balanced years, I think 74 was definitely a lot better since he had the mass and the condition and just was so, so good that year. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you guys enjoyed this video and also let me know about that three quarters twisting double bicep shot, who you guys would have winning. Uh, please, you know, like and subscribe if you enjoyed and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.